How do we forgive someone who's hurt us so badly as a narcissist? Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. I have to tell you that something that's very important to me is that no one ever feels that they have to forgive someone for hijacking their soul because maybe there is no forgiveness for that. The pressure to forgive has led some people to feel guilty their whole lives, prematurely forgive. There's a really interesting body of literature out there that suggests that if we forgive someone who re-perpetrates, it significantly harms the well-being of the forgiver. Mm. So all of our research, forgive, you'll feel better, forgive, you'll free yourself. Not so much because not everyone leaves these relationships. Some people continue to have contact with the family members. They continue to stay in the relationship. They may not have a choice. Not everyone can leave. This isn't as simple as you're narcissistic, I'm leaving this relationship. It's not how it works most of the time. It's I've got this really toxic parent and I still have to interact with them. I have this really toxic ex-partner and we still have to raise kids together. I have a toxic marriage and I'm staying in it, right? And so, and these are people who have, who have broken people down to their core, left them feeling like they're not enough, left them feeling that they, they were worthless people, left them not knowing who they were anymore, left them doubting reality. Is that forgivable? I'm not so sure. And so I will always tell everyone I work with, this is a personal decision. It is not right to forgive. It is not right to not forgive. It is not wrong to forgive. It is not wrong to not forgive. You have to do what makes you whole. If you look at the definition of forgiveness in the dictionary, it says it is to, it's to cease to, cease to feel resentment. Let it go and cease to feel resentment. And I ask them, do you not feel resentment? And resentful? And they're like, I feel resentment. You didn't forgive them if you still feel resentful. So resentment does not push forward healing. I think that it's one more place where people are forced to be inauthentic. You, it, some people will say, and I'll, I'll be frank with you, Lewis, I've had, I have a, probably I can think of a half a dozen people, narcissistic people in my life. I am now no contact with some myself contact with. I don't forgive them. I will never forgive them. Really? Never. Even if you never speak to them again? I don't speak to them again. I will never forgive them. What they did to me, because what they, 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 it changed my view on myself. I spent years crawling out from under that rubble. I still doubt myself. I still don't feel safe in the world. They took away my safety. How the heck do you forgive that? I don't. And I, I, I sleep fine at night. That's good. I guess as long as you feel at peace. Right? I feel totally at peace. Well, that's good. Then. Because yeah. what bothers me is I know they're out there doing this to other people. Yeah. How do you forgive that's that? That's frustrating. That's frustrating. I guess the thing would be, how do we find peace even if we don't forgive I think someone. the people who don't forgive definitely feel peace. Okay. I think people who don't feel peace are the people who forgive and keep getting harmed. Oh, that's Are the true. people who forgive and didn't, weren't ready to forgive. Healing from narcissistic abuse is individuating, becoming autonomous, and ultimately rising into your authentic self. That's what it is. And your authentic self may not forgive, and that's okay.